thanks ever so much for you all for dropping along to check out this Medit Masterclass. Today we're going to be looking at better or improved uh, 3D model conversion from the uh, OBJ. <laughs> you should show us how to open Smedit. If you're interested in learning how to open Smedit and run it, then you will need to be watching the Ring Fencing Your Smedit install tutorial, uh, which is already up on YouTube. So here we are. We're looking at Smedit. I'm basically going to take it from the point where you already have Smedit running, okay? Because if I was to do a tutorial on how to get Smedit running right now, um, it could be a rather long and time-consuming deal. So, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. And I think if everyone could just shout, do we have a good volume balance? I'd like to know in the chat Hello. before I continue. Hello, Thank Zero. We are live. I'm just waiting to see. Uh, I think it'll take about 30 seconds. Um, but basically, we're going to take it from the point where you actually already have OBJ and you already have Smedit running and it's all working as it should be. As you can see up in the top right corner here, I'm just going to drag this out. Currently, you can see I'm using uh, 6G. Okay. 6G, so 6 gigs I've currently got in my installation for some edit. I'm going to leave that up there so you can see what's going on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go File, Import, OBJ. I've already got the Hero class, which is something I was working on. So I'm just going to show you what that actually looks like before I load it in. If we just quickly scoop over to the web. And here it is. So this is the hero class. Like I say, um, the hero class was made by user IK Dragon. He's got 39 models, and it's as far as I can tell, a completely original model. It's not really inspired by anything or any series. It's just a really cool looking spaceship from what I can tell. If anyone wants to correct me, there it is. Oh wow, look, and it's even got a hanger inside it. I didn't even notice that myself. So there it is. I could load up load up SketchUp and show you that properly, but... As you can see, that's pretty much what we've got. That's what I'm dealing with. Okay, so that's where I've got the model. Now you go onto the Smedit wiki. You get your command line from down in the wiki just here. If you've got a 64-bit system, remember to use the 60, D64 when you're running it. Um, nah, that's pretty much it. So we'll jump back over to Smedit. Yeah, I know my face is being green screened out. For some reason, the camera just didn't like it. So we have a bit of an invisible man over there. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get into Smedit now and show you the actual process. So obviously, we're going to have Smedit. We're going to go File, Import, OBJ. We're going to go find our OBJ, and because we want it to be an odd sim, we're going to actually going to leave an odd number. So I'm going to make it 301 for the longest dimension. Okay, that'll give us an odd box dimension. So that'll give us... It's just loading it now. Okay, there it is. Our little ship. You can see it there, rotating around nice. Okay, so that's what I'm working with. Can, I hope grey is good enough. It does sort of blamange out a little bit, but I'm going to look at it head on. And I'm going to zoom in. And as you can see here, right, there's a middle block. And that middle block, that's what I'm going to call the center line. It runs down the middle here. Now, obviously, the conversion process means that each side's different, so it's not going to be symmetrical. So, I'm going to go Edit, Select All. This is going to create a mad old box. Now, by pressing Shift, we can make the box bigger or smaller. So, basically, as you can see, E, I think E did it. No. That's Height. There it is. There. So now I'm going to basically reduce the box using Shift and A. Okay. There. Now the core is on the center line. 
So if I now go edit, copy, and then I'll use D without shift to move the box to the opposite side of the center line. Okay. And this is going to be super fast, guys. So we're going to go edit, delete. Let's zoom back in on it. And then we're going to go edit, paste. Now, obviously, at this point, you don't want that. That's no good. <laughs> so we're going to go modify, reflect. We're going to go the uh, port starboard. So flip X is true. Dorsal is false. Fore aft is false. Boom. And it's done. And as you can see, now we've got a perfectly symmetrical ship. So at this point, we're going to do a hollow. And then we're going to do a harden. And I want it black. And as you can see, it's done half black. So in fact, yes. Two tone. We're going to move this across. And this is where we're going to start having some fun with this. So now this side is going to be purple. So it's purple. Oh, we need to go one more across. Purple. There we go. Right, and now I'm going to reduce the size of the box again. To about there. Bring it all the way across. Let's get a good view on it. I'm going to get it right even. Excuse me while I mess the controls. Right, and we'll try and get this to be even. Like that. There we go, so that's perfect, okay. And now what we're going to do is mods, ombre. And we're going to go, let's see, what should we use? What should we use? Could use purple to black. And then obviously we want it left to right, true. Top to bottom, false. Four to aft, false. Did I do it the wrong way around? No, perfect. Okay. And then we're going to do some more with this. So we're going to deform the box again. Whoa! Bring it down. Someone give me a color in the chat. <laughs> Orange. Orange. Yeah? Oh, someone said blue in the chat. Damn. We've got two colors. All right. We can deal with that. So what we're going oh, to do? Orange doesn't exist. Go with blue. No, no, it's fine. There is, there's an orange. So what we'd say is we'll say first color blue, second color orange, which is brown, and then obviously we'll take the top bottom this time. Bang! Now we should have. Ha 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 ha! We've got orange. Is that orange on top and blue underneath? <laughs> That's funky. I wanted it to be the other way around. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We can just turn around, get back on that ombre, and just switch that to brown and blue. There we go. It's done. And then, obviously, if I can take this up a little bit more. Whoop. What color should that control tower be? Oh no, I messed it up. Just in case you want to know, guys, if you press control shift, click and drag, it'll start a new box. Come on. He doesn't like it, it's put it down here. There we go. What's it doing? It's lagging. 
green. Alright, green can do. Just making this box grow, guys. Give me a sec. <laughs> I accidentally cancelled it. Up we go. Up we go. Come on. And like I say, anybody who says that this is easy, you know, yeah, it depends what you do with it, really. Because obviously, if you're just going to convert a model from just, just leave it at that, then yeah, it is pretty easy. But... If you plan to actually make a decent looking ship out of it, you can't just leave it there. I mean, this is nowhere near finished. You'd take hours and hours and hours over this thing to make it look finalised, but the main part was the first bit I did. Now I'm just messing around with the extra commands that you've got in here. So let's see. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's this one. I think we've got it now. Oh. oh, I've come off one side. There we go. So, all green. <laughs> Looks like I caught a few blocks at the back there. Right then, um, engines. So let's just say select none. Get a look at the back, shall we? <laughs> this is a funky looking thing. I don't know what I have done to this ship. Okay, there's the back end right down there, just behind my head. Oh, this way. <laughs> it's kind of here. <laughs> and basically... Whoa! What I'll want to do... Control shift, drag it to there. That might work. Yes. In fact, no. No, I won't bother with this, right? Because um, there's pretty much everything. So I'm just going to go save this now. Save as blueprint. I'm going to call this Hero Class uh, 301 <laughs> Split. Okay. And as you can see up in the top, I think it just saved it. So there we go. That's done. Right. So the next one we're going to do is should be a bit of fun. It's a different model. So let's have a look.